133, or not 133, 11.33 p.m. Wow, it's getting kind of late. I want to go to bed. Just go to bed. I'll sleep. Okay, Lane, you're totally making up these quotes. He's making them up as he goes along. Well, I feel kind of bad for you, Agent Lane, but... You know, that's kind of irrelevant. Right now, I want to find the killer. We'll take care of the smuggling ring later. Whoa, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it, everybody. We need to find the killer. Hold it! Objection! Pow! They totally should have given a sprite for, you know, Detective Gumshoe, which just reads, Pow! As opposed to objection or hold it. All right, thanks a lot, Detective Gumshoe. Alright, way to go, Edgeworth. We're coming close to accusing Agent Sheena of being the killer. Alright, so let's explain the situation first. Alright! I mean, aw, man. We're gonna be Francisca's subordinate again. Oh, and we're, we're picking a fight with Agent Lang's subordinate. It's the Battle of the Subordinates here today on Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney, Investigations. Okay, the Yadagarasu. Alrighty, okay, sounds like a good opening argument. Thank you. 
Alright, so the mysterious fake Yadagarasu ran into the room. Okay, fine, let's call the person the Yadagarasu. Okay, okay, hey, this is a map. This is good, this is good. Now we get to see what happened. Okay, they were chasing down the hallway. Yadagarasu went into the room where the dead body was found. K goes into the room. She turns on the lights. Sees the dead body, and the Yadagarasu is nowhere to be found. Wrong there, Agent Lang. Oh, come on, who was next door? You know this, Agent Lang. The answer here is Agent Sheena, who showed up about, let's say, 10 seconds after Kay screamed. Alrighty, so Gumshoe and Agent Sheena had the hallway totally covered. Thus proving that the Yadagarasu did not escape through the door. Yes, absolutely correct, Agent Lang. Absolutely correct. Whoa, no, no, no. Whoa, 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 Detective Gumshoe. Not so fast, not so fast. We need to disprove the window as a possible escape route. Yes, let's disprove the fact that the Yadagarasu went through the door then the fact that the Yadagarasu went through the window. And so we will come to the conclusion that the Yadagarasu had to use the revolving fireplace. This is basically Edgeworth's game plan in this video. Also, we'll get rid of Agent Lang. I'm tired of talking to Agent Lang. It's really Agent Sheena that we want to cross-examine. So, uh, yeah, let's just disprove Lang, get rid of him, and talk to Sheena. Humans can't fly! Of course I know that! That's bloody common sense! Alright. 
Alrighty, so here we go. We have to find proof, which proves that the Yadagorasu did not escape through the window. The proof we need is the photo of the Yadagorasu. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. The photo was taken about two hours before the moment we're talking about, so it's not a photo of the Yadagorasu flying out the window. We have no idea what it's a photo of, but we can't explain how the Yadagorasu escaped. Alright, Battle of the Subordinates. Battle of the Subordinates coming on. This is where the Battle of the Subordinates really begins. <laughs> 